Mr. Speaker, I rise today to address the need for reforming our current sugar program. This uncompetitive, outdated policy is stunning job creation and is harmful for families, candy companies, and food manufacturers that are forced to pay a higher cost for any product made with sugar. Recent data suggests that without reform, the program puts 600,000 jobs in the sugar-using industries at risk. I became all too aware of this negative impact during a visit at a leading confectioner located in my district. Headquartered in Bryan, Ohio, Spangler Candy Company is a family-owned business that has been providing consumers with dum-dums, candy canes, and other confections since 1906. This company currently has over 400 employees, but if it could purchase sugar at world market prices instead of an inflated price, the number of employees would be closer to 600. This is a difference of 200 manufacturing jobs in a single Midwestern town. Imagine the positive economic growth that would result from sugar reform nationwide. I'm an original co-sponsor of H.R. 693, the Sugar Reform Act. Reform to the sugar program will restore fairness in the sugar market, encourage investment, and spur job creation in our local communities. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.